when I'm looking through the lens, I'm breaking down things, I'm seeing something. I, I guess the, 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 the thing that I most have found is I, I go for the moment. Today we're here in the archive of Herbert's work. We estimate that he shot close to two million rolls of film during his lifetime. What we're looking at here is the negatives, the transparencies, the contact sheets, the fine art editions, prints that were done from editorial and advertising assignments. Every magazine that Herb ever was published in is all held and archived and documented here in the vaults. I like to push things, even in my commercial work. Sometimes there's not even a line with the editorial. It, it can even classify as fine art. Looking at this particular job from British Vogue in 1988, you can see how Herb was working through his own process of capturing images. This particular session was with Tatiana Petitz in the desert in Southern California. I do like large plains and areas of texture and light, like deserts or oceans. And I like the natural elements that abstract into light and texture and line and shape. He wasn't stuck on that it was a fashion section for British Vogue. His eye was capturing something that was pleasing and of beauty to him. Tatiana has the most unusual, strong oval face with the almond eyes and the strong lips, but it's her gaze, her inner self that always comes through just so strong. He would look at every frame with a magnifying glass. He would mark the film. He had a darkroom staff. They would make prints. The quality of these prints that he was making were equal to the fine art editions that he would make at the end. This particular image ended up being the fine art edition print that was in the Getty Museum and other museum exhibitions. Herb's cameras were very simple. He worked with a Mamiya medium format camera for a large portion of his work. Had a, a 150 millimeter lens, which is, you know, a portrait lens. The camera was just an extension of his body and was not something that was going to stand between him and the subject. They talk about a photographer and a shoot and a subject. It's like a dance. Well, Herb really did make it like a dance. He wanted people to enjoy the day and have fun with the day. When I work with Jack Nicholson, for instance, so we were up in his study and I saw the magnifying glass sitting on his desk. And I said, Jack, pick that up and play with it. And the next thing, it was a caricature of himself. It's really trying to capture an inner quality about somebody in an unorthodox way. He allowed there to be a collaboration between him and the subject. He wanted something fresh and new and innovative. You never think when you're taking the pictures that maybe in 30 years from now, that'll be a record of that time. What you're really doing each time you click the frame is that you're recording something. And sometimes you'll hit on something that will live on. <laughs>